said that they denied his appeal. So you have a jury and an appeals court who says my accusation was credible, yet the Catholic Church didn't. That's the point. That's what. That's the problem we have. And you know, and also they talk about if you saw the release by uh, the op-ed by the cardinal, he said that he released these files and he picked out the files to to uh, that pertain to the subject and sent them to the investigators. I don't trust them. I'm sorry. We we we. How can you trust them? So why? Who? How did they determine which files the investigators saw? We don't know. All right. And so this is not a transparent process. If you look at the data, this you know the this. This diocese has 1.7 million Catholics in it. The city of Pittsburgh, uh, from the Pennsylvania report, was able to identify 92 perpetrator priests. It's a third the size of this diocese. Buffalo, they found, they found over 100 perpetrator priests after the civil authorities investigated. They're, again, a third the size of this, this diocese. They're, under, these are, they're way underestimating it, guys. This is not, there are more people, there are more perps out there. Um, you know, I have a problem with the way they categorize these things. You know, they had they they had the list of credible pre priests, and then they have Keller, who has been removed from ministry. Why was he removed from ministry? Uh, my understanding is there's, a, there's another victim, and the and the church has known about this for a month. We're back to the same the point again. The Dallas Charter was put in place so that the children could be protected. That's the whole idea behind the Dallas Charter: protect the children, and. The idea is that when an accuser comes forward, you remove that priest from ministry immediately. You get him away from children until the investigation is done and you determine whether it's truth or not. That's not what this diocese is doing. This is the second time. They did it with uh, La Rosa Lopez. They allowed La Rosa Lopez to continue in his ministry for three months before they, they removed him. And they knew about it. This was after the third accusation. And then, and now with Keller, they, they wait until the last minute. My understanding, based on uh, people who have told me this, he, he had mass just today up there at Prince of Peace. Okay, guys, something's wrong here. And any list that doesn't include Brinkman, Father Brinkman in Baytown, you guys saw the report on CBS. I believe the victim. The victim's telling the truth. Any list that doesn't include him is not credible, period. Um, we're fortunate in this city. The other cities in the state do not have this luxury, and I call it a luxury being a little bit sarcastic, but the Montgomery District Attorney raided this diocese. He's got all the files. Texas Rangers have access to the files. We're gonna see a real list, okay? Hopefully, hopefully the Montgomery DA will release the real list because what we saw today was a partial list. Um, this issue has been going on for eons in, this, in the Catholic Church and nothing has changed. They changed their tactics, the strategy is still the same. Everything is all about protecting the priest, and protecting the church. They got it wrong. The victims are who should be protected. All right? And, and you know, I'm sorry. I've read I've read the Bible. I've I've read about Jesus. Jesus would care less about the priest or the or the church. He would care about the victim. And I think they got it wrong here. And that's what they've been doing. This one this is not going to change in my opinion until some of these bishops, archbishops and cardinals go to jail and and, and do time for what they've been doing. I know in private industry, if you hide and, and shuffle around a sexual predator, you would you would be liable as well. Why are they held at a different standard? And I'll call for again. I've been I've been calling for this for four months now. The attorney general in this state needs to step up and do his job. Every diocese in this state needs to be investigated by the the uh, the attorney general. Ken Paxton is saying that he can't do that because he doesn't have the statutes to do it. Well, in the state of Kentucky, which uh, they have an attorney general there, Andy Bashir. They have the same problem. What he's doing is, is sponsoring a bill to change that. If we, because Andy Bashir cares about child, children's sexual abuse. He, can, he wants to stop it. He wants to end it. Ken Paxton must not want that. But he needs, I would, I would call for the community to, to reach out and demand that we, we, get, we know the truth. And these, these dioceses, all dioceses in this state need to be investigated by the arch, archdiocese or by the attorney general. Those are my comments. Now, what I want to do is, if there are any, any of you guys that want to speak, I'm going to give that option. You don't have to, but, nope. I think you said it all. Okay. Are there any questions? 286 cases have been uh, sort of put out by the, the churches. 
days wide. Is that enough? <laughs> 286. Okay, there's 8.3 million Catholics in this state. I think you told me that this morning. 8.3 million. Okay, the state of Illinois has 3.6 million Catholics. They had, they had over 600 predator priests after the civil authorities. Uh, so, yeah, we're all by order of magnitude here, guys. And it's, it's, that's my point. The attorney general needs to do an investigation. You know, we, you cannot trust the church to do this. What they're doing, this is a preemptive strike. You guys understand that, hopefully. That all they're doing is trying to get ahead of getting, having the attorney general come in and, and, and investigate. They don't, want, they don't want their dirty secrets told. And so they don't want that, this to happen. So ultimately, all they're doing is trying to get ahead of that and say, oh, look, I shared my list. I'm good. I can move on now. I'm sorry. I'm not, I won't rest until the truth is told. 42. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm not surprised by that. I, you know, um, I'm, I, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm not surprised by that. Um, the, the, you know, I, I was, I, I'm, I was surprised that there were, um, actually, you know, let, let me say this. They, they had a lot of, um, they had a lot more, um, what do they call them? The uh, oblates or whatever the, um, the, uh, the not the, not associated with the diocese, but the uh, the Jesuits and things like that. I was surprised that they listed those. So that that's a step in the right direction. But if you, I would encourage all of you guys to go out on bishop accountability. There's 18 priests listed on that. I, I did a check, and there's quite a few of them that weren't in this on this list. Now there's there's cases out there. There's there's documentation in, in the media about these individuals, and it, they weren't on the list. So again, it shows you there's some there's some. Uh, Questions about this list? Can you speak to emotionally You know, it's it's emotional, and I, I I'm not from Texas, okay, so my perp's not going to show up on this list. But as a survivor, um, seeing seeing these lists being generated, I know I know the feelings of the survivors out there because I've been through this, and it and, it, and we're we're together, we're all together, and uh, you know we all have the same feelings, we all. We, it's it's a struggle and it's a journey and and quite honestly um, I feel for all the survivors in the state who are looking and seeing their, their their the names of their perps on this list because ultimately as a survivor what you really want is you want to be heard and you want to be believed and that and the people who whose perps are on that list they, they got that today and I feel great for that but I think there are a lot of a lot of people out there who their perps not on this list and that that's the issue I think there's going to be a story tonight on uh, CBS, is my understanding, and uh, there is another victim, is my understanding, and you know, and, and, and what's disgusting about this is this 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 diocese has known about it, and they, they allowed him to continue in his ministry. That's what I was talking about, the Dallas Charter. You know, the Dallas Charter says we're going to protect our children, and we're going to get these these animals away from these from these children, and they didn't do that. They didn't do it with Lorosa Lopez either. It, I think that's a cop out, okay? Because basically, and I, I kind of, I was wondering what they were going to do with that. Because ultimately, you know, um, I believe they're credible cases. I, I, I have no doubt, okay? I, I, there, I talked to uh, four of the victims, and and I believe every one of them. There's not a one of them that are not telling you the truth about this. Um, but they, if they say that it's credible, then they've admitted guilt, haven't they? And so they they, they don't want to do that. So they have to have a little special category for them. So again, you, you called this partial. Yes. Um, basically, what it comes down to is, uh, okay, what, what it comes down to is there are not, there are more perps in this town, okay? Uh, and I'll, I'll, the data again, Buffalo, New York, there's there's a third of the of the uh, Catholics in that city, and they had uh, over 100 perps after the civil authorities went in, okay? Um, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, they had 92 perps. Uh, and they, they, again, a third the size of this diocese. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're way under, they're an order of magnitude off. If you do the math and, and basically correlate some data, you know, it's no, no, no real analysis, but, but essentially, if you look at what other dioceses this size, it should be between 170 and 250. Uh, yeah, I come in. I can, this is a, like I said, there, this is a small step towards tr showing transparency, but it's it, we're not there yet.
I believe they are. That's my belief, and, and the data tells me that. So, um, you know, uh, we, we got to clean this up. And, and they, you know, I, I, I don't believe Cardinal DiNardo is going to be able to clean it up, honestly. I think, uh, and I think there needs to be a culture change within the Catholic Church. And I'm not talking about the faith. I, I've said this many times. It has nothing to do with the faith. The culture within the church and the hierarchy, something needs to change because nothing has changed yet. Thank you. I think we would see the same thing for probably twice that. Uh, you know, because like I think somebody just mentioned, there were 300 in, in the state of Texas. Hey, that's that's way off, guys. Come on. You know, that, that's just that's absurd that they would throw that number out there. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, that's what they're hoping. They, they, you know, they, they go they're they're watching. They're waiting for the news cycle to, to subside. They've done this before. They did it in 2002. They, they answer some questions. They act like they, they, you know, we came up with the Dallas Charter, and then they, you know, hope they went away. And that's what they're hoping. Um, we're not going to give up. I've been, we, SNAP's been around for 30 years. We'll be here until this, this issue is, is, is uh, resolved. I would rather not do that. Do um, you have something you would like to say? I would like to add. Yeah, cool. go for yeah. it, please. As one of the survivors, I would like to say that um, I'm here mostly to support other survivors, and I didn't hear anything that Michael said standing behind him, so I don't know what he covered and what he didn't. But um, I know that if the law was more involved, more people would come forward. I reported my case, was reported in 2001 to the church with La Rosa Lopez. It was reported again um, within the last 10 years, and nothing was done. The church did nothing, and they want to say they pulled him out of ministry when this most recent victim came forward, but nothing was done prior to that. They knew about it and did nothing. So um, I want to encourage other victims that are out there that haven't told their story to go to the police, come forward. Somebody will listen to you, and um, SNAP is a group that you can come to for that kind of support if that's what you need. And um, I have five children of my own. As a parent, I can say that I know that a falsely accused priest is a tragedy, but how much more tragic is it that children may be in harm's way? And as a parent, would you risk that? Would you risk saying maybe that priest isn't guilty and let your child be there? I don't think it's worth it as a parent. So you need to come forward. Yes, um, Manuela Rosa Lopez, the, the one that's charged. Yeah. So. I don't really want to answer any questions right now since it's an ongoing sure. investigation. So. so. Any other questions? And, th and thank you. Thank you. Today was really disappointing, and y'all asked a question earlier about, you know, what, why are there such a lapse in time from, you know, the abusers coming or the victims coming forward and no current cases, and it's because there are brick walls put up at every corner when you go and try to report this stuff. So I came from Victoria because um, SNAP is the only organization that has actually offered any help and tried to help me figure out what happened with my daughter and who he is and why he's so hidden so I came all the way from over there just to support this organization because they actually help what is the situation right now with the that they're not going to investigate it they're not investigating what? um I believe and this isn't word for word, but just summarized was that because I sent my daughter to a 
a private Catholic school that I should have known that she might have been in a setting where she'd be in a confession with the priest. She's okay. No, oh, you, did you ask how old she is? She's 10. Oh, she's okay. But she's 10 years old. No, they're not. I reported it and they said that they're not going to investigate it. Even after SNAP helped me get a lot of information on him that is highly suspicious, I gave it to them and asked them if that changed their decision and they said no, that their decision was final. How old was your daughter? She's 10. This just happened last November. Last November. And you reported Yes. I went to the school first, and then I tried the diocese, and then the, the police department, because... <laughs> Should I say it? I'm not, I don't, I don't want to share it. Is he still there? Yes. Uh, not that I know of. Um, the situation was that there was supposed to be a different priest there that day, but he was sick, so they asked this guy to fill in. So that just kind of adds to the, you know, suspicion is that like he was never intended to be around kids, but he seized an opportunity when he was allowed to hear the confessions of, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 17 kids were in her class that day and they all went in individually with him. The door was closed. This was in the school, not in a partition, so there's no divider between them. And she, they were all left alone with him at some point, but I mean, Besides the few parents that I do know and talk to through my daughter, none of them really know what happened. They don't even know that they need to ask their kids if something happened to them. So. What's your name? Is? My name? Your name? Amber Price. Amber Price? A M B E R. Last name P E R E Z. P E R E Z. Since this happened, that's all I do is try to search for this person, and he is very, very well hidden. Oh yes. What was that like? I think the meeting we had last week kind of prepared me for the fact that he wasn't going to be on there, and I just no, I never thought he was going to be on there. They're not investigating it, so why would he be? Is there, are there any other questions or comments? Well, I think I I, I, I want to thank everyone for standing out here in the rain. Uh, I appreciate y'all's interest in this story. This is a very important story, and I'm, I'm glad you're all showing interest because we need to change this. Thank you.